Well, since this is a class in chemistry, we might as well learn what that is. Chemistry is the study of matter, its properties, interactions, reactions, and energy changes. Those topics basically make up this umbrella of chemistry. Everything falls under that. The properties, the interactions, the reactions, and the energy changes. That is chemistry. Now, you're familiar with properties, at least some of them. For example, you're familiar with things such as melting point and boiling point. There's also a property that deals with how easily something flows related to the property of viscosity. And then, of course, there's how thick something is, how heavy it is for a given amount of material. Next, I want to talk about an interaction. I want to differentiate that from a reaction. An interaction is where two materials are in close contact, but they keep their identity. Sometimes materials repel. In this case, X and Y are moving away from each other. Other times, chemical materials will be attracted to each other. This is definitely to differentiate them from reactions. That's where you have two or more materials that combine to form a new material. What was not there before shows up, and what was there in the past has now disappeared. Something new has formed. An example of that would be hydrogen reacts with oxygen to form water. Hydrogen and oxygen go away, and water shows up. Now, almost any interaction or reaction is going to be associated with an energy change, shown here, abbreviated here, as just delta E. For example, in some interactions or reactions, heat is given off. You'll learn that that's called exothermic, while in others, heat may actually be taken up. At a campfire, heat is given off from the combustion of the cellulose. When you have a coal pack, Heat is actually absorbed, and that's why your skin feels colder.